Good morning everyone, it's uh, John here, uh, just catching up with what's happening here in Yuzo, Auckland, uh, with the imminent arrest of John Key, the Prime Minister, and his whole parliament. You see on Facebook now, I've put the uh, documents uh, that will be sent out to the Navy and to uh, uh, the uh, police force here in New Zealand. You can see that the police uh, are on their seventh day now. They haven't replied uh, to a call I made to Mike Clement, the uh, area district commander of police. Uh, just clearly shows that he's there for the corporate uh, business of John Key um, and um, not for uh, the uh, uh, citizens, people. Uh, so I just wanted to uh, reiterate on uh, what I've put on Facebook as being our Maui Superior Admiralty Court. In other words, it's legal, it's admissible in the High Court of Admiralty in London, Judge David Lindsay Mackey. Okay? So um, uh, they'll be filed off today, the complaint against John Key, now that he's, uh, he's got a warrant on his head uh, to arrest him any time at any time. We also have a, a, a arrest warrant on uh, Queen Elizabeth, uh, Elizabeth Windsor, her head, and uh, Evelyn Rothschild, Rothschild Banks, uh, and um, uh, Pope Benedict, uh, Pope Francis, Georgie, uh, Georgie Mario de Goglio. The other one is uh, Joseph Ratzinger, and also the Black Pope, uh, Adolfo Nicholas Patron, uh, the Argentinian. Okay? They're the ones that are causing all the problems, all the killings in the world, uh, uh, chemtrails and um, vaccinations, uh, Ponzi schemes and the uh, fractioning banks, uh, fractional banks, uh, and the pyramid uh, investments, okay? It's just one big fraud uh, that um, the Pope Francis uh, opened the way. He uh, declared on the 1st of September, 2013, that uh, everyone is uh, committing crimes uh, shall be convicted or prosecuted. Okay? I'm acting as a prosecutor, private prosecutor in our online court here on Facebook. And so this is uh, legal, open, has a billion witnesses around the world, anyone we can choose from to back our claims up. So you're reading real authenticated official documents of title, doctrines, and everything that's stated on there is the truth. I'm swearing it to be the truth, and so far no one is refuting any of it. It becomes law. It is law now, uh, from yesterday, after John Key failed in seven days to refute um, the wanted <coughs> warrant, the lien debtors warrant of arrest and also to seize and search his properties and any other properties that he has overseas. Okay, we have a um, um, private investigator, Graham Allen, who's an ex UK detective sergeant, to do that job. Okay, we just contract everybody under the corporations. I'm a corporate person, just like you, John Key. And so your ship tied up in the harbour 
on Maui land has actually injured my ship, Jasper, me. Okay? So you've got a problem with me and my ship and admiralty law. Okay? Maritime law, admiralty law. It all points to admiralty law that is in question here of your jurisdiction with the paddle against my jurisdiction with King William the uh, Fourth, Rear Admiral and uh, uh, last Lord High first Lord and last Lord High uh, of the high seas of the seas and of the fleet last Lord High Admiral of the fleet Okay, so that's the king of the sea you're talking to I'm, I'm here for the king. I'm here to represent the king. Okay? And Maui statue, all the statues, the real ones around the world, where they're standing, is the title to the world. Okay? That's graphic. That's up for the Vatican, popes, and their universities, their parliaments around the world, to challenge that title of Maui planted right in the earth on East Island, that's fixed into the earth, God's earth. That marks his survey mark here on the East Cape with the sun rising. That's graphic. That's right on the marks. And the kingdom of Ghana. The black natives, not the white natives. The black man native and the Tahitian black man native is what I'm doing here. Is a Moai absolute title. We are now converting the native customary title through the corporations themselves into pound notes sterling. Okay, you'll see that on my paper. Uh, and um, we're getting that against a billion state crown agents. Uh, church and state. Okay, the church and state. <coughs> uh, World Bank's audited amount of one one four one nine hundred million trillion trillion. Okay, that's an audited amount. That's not my amount. That's an audited amount uh, that we're putting up against the pound note. Just let you know that that's real. That's how we're going to print that money off pretty soon with Jeff Foley, Prince Regent, uh, Jeffrey Foley. I'm just waiting for a call from him right now in Australia. See, you see, he's the legitimate King of England. Okay, we're putting him in place where he should be. Uh, and so, just to let you people know, he's a good king, future king. The Queen is no good. She's a convicted criminal felon uh, by the uh, Cree Indian nation in Canada. And Ex-Bishop uh, um, Kevin Annette has done a tremendous amount of work. Uh, congratulations to you, Kevin. You've done a huge amount of work for the Native people on their lands that has been uh, terrorised uh, and um, uh, screwed out of its resources, of its life by these pirates using Admiralty Law. Okay, I just wanted to jump in here and share in the knowledge of the Admiralty Law because we are carrying the uh, Admiralty flag of the Confederation. This is a real Moai Hapu uh, Confederation contract, commercial contract of a bank trade uh, in, in instrument flag with King William the Fourth of Plymouth in Devon, England, on his Tudor estate lands that we have an interest in, right? We have an interest in that. Uh, uh, William Yard, that's a Navy Yard. See, he's been in the Navy for over 52 years, since he was 13. You see, he built that up. We are taking his credit for doing that and putting it in front of you. Okay? 
his credit of all the work he's done for the Admiralty Law. He wanted it to be kept safe with us. It's safe with us. We're the God children, people that are nice and not uh, devils, worshippers in robes, rags, like the popes and the churches. You see, in the end they have become Satan right in front of your eyes why they got on the land, why they got the most money in the world. is That's what their intention was, to come onto our native lands and turn it into money. So all we do now is seize all the money, seize their assets, seize their church land, and give it back to the people. That's what Maui is all about. So all those people in the world who may think I'm here for myself. No, uh, I'm not here for myself. I'm here to speak for the king and to speak for Maui because he's a block, solid, rock, Maui face of God. Okay? That's what he is. That's what he was built for and put into the ground, deep into the ground, to mark God's earth. Okay? Right on the mark. You'll see a lot of that on my Facebook, uh, explaining <coughs> uh, the particular astronomical points on this earth to make a planet up in the universe. Okay? So we've got a direct connection through the Milky Way, straight above East Island. Those are my Tahitian people, my Wanoa people. Uh, wasn't, a, wasn't a surname until they brought it here as a hapu to New Zealand. Okay? Got chased off the land in uh, Raiate Island, that's the mountain where the Tikanga Maui law started from on our one or lands there. Okay? That's where it started. And God put us on East Island. That was Tipito to Hinoa Island, navel of the earth. Okay? There's a real story. And so they got chased off there by the natives around the place, American natives and, and uh, Marquises people, uh, Tahitian people themselves chased them off. So what they, what they got? They went east. From there they went uh, east to uh, uh, Aotea, New Zealand. So we settled uh, over here and set up again. Hello, next minute, the British are here, chasing the Maoris off. Right? The Maoris and the Iwi, they're still doing that now. They're still trying to settle a tribe people, this is the crown and the queen and her people, offensive people, settling a tribe they actually invented, the Maori and the Iwi, and that's why they're mixed up, that's why they don't know the king, they, they, they don't want to talk about the king, and yet they're here in this country and around the world, in America, Australia, Canada, on the admiralty law of the king, you see, and so there's only a few people in the king's side, so I can see how this goes? We're, 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 we're testing the Queen's law out, the, the, the jurisdiction, and uh, no constitution. We're the only one who's got a constitution, 1852 constitution from Britain, for goodness sake. We're exercising our constitutional rights and our uh, sovereignty rights and our jurisdiction rights of a king. Right? I'm here acting as if the king's here. I'm speaking for the king. Yeah. Who's going to stop me? The British military? No, we are on their side. No, we are on their side. We are summoning the British military to come here and arrest all the pirates that came here in 1840. Well, even before that. But 1840 is the uh, government here. The New Zealand government cut everybody off in 1840. All their uh, fake people and their fake married tribe. They cut them off and settling everybody on their terms. Well, it's our terms now, Mr. John Key, Prime Minister, and your Governor General, Jerry Mataparai Andrews. Okay, he's Andrew. Right? That's very screwy, all these marriages. You've got to watch the surnames. We're going to do a, a DNA test to see if they're a real surname before they can open their mouth in front of a real native. Okay? I'm one that's talking for the natives, the real male native of the country, right? not the second-hand plastic mouths that the crown and the iwis set up. Okay, So you're not going to fool Moa that easy. No, and you're not going to fool the British military as well as the Navy would set this all up with the 
Admiralty from Plymouth, Devon to Devonport here in Auckland. So that's our interest land there. We're going to seize it right? and work with the British military, like how it should be, not with the corporate companies in Wellington. Government, they're out now. They're going out. We're going to get them out because they're not there for the people. They're there for themselves. You can see that now quite plainly. plainly that they're not talking to, to the tribal people, the hapu, or the citizens of this country, with the uh, uh, Anadaka uh, drilling off Taranaki. You see, they're just going to poke the hole in the ground now, over there. And they've got a, uh, we've got a bone to pick with them. They're actually going to sue them all, the whole lot of them. John Key, the whole lot of them, are going to share the bill. They're just, all their names, we'll find their names. We'll have sheriffs amongst all the people here, We'll get them employed. We'll get the money back off everything they stole, including the whole country. Okay? You have to prove your title in front of my title. All these documents you see on Facebook, they're sitting in the Judge David Lindsay Mackey's Admiralty Court in London. That's the highest you ever go. Right? We've gone straight past the marshal, straight past the, the, the registrar, straight to the judge. You heard the phone call with the clerk, his clerk. Yes, Judge Mackey's got the documents. Well, that's the end of it. That is the end of it. That's a complaint in front of the judge. A complaint and also titles. Okay? Titles. Absolute titles. Now, <coughs> I'm setting out the the uh, videos. There's about ten of them. You'll see them on Facebook. On my Facebook. And the letter to the Police Commissioner of New Zealand. Uh, Peter Marshall will go to Mike Clement, uh, the um, uh, area commander, district commander of Auckland Police. He's very silent at the moment, he's not saying a word. Uh, and so I'm trying to get uh, Tony Geldenhuis, the FBI side of the police force here in Auckland, to uh, get a meeting with him. It's very important, it's serious, I'm serious. I'm very, very serious. I'm making allegations against all the people that got on Facebook with their photo, their name, capital, as person. They're all corporate, you see. I'll get them as natural person and corporate. The corporate name, person, is admiralty law. Mortgages are admiralty law. Birth certificates, licenses, and, and all those uh, documentation are admiralty law. Okay? It comes under our jurisdiction of the king of the sea, okay? The water people, you've come here as water people on this native land, on our dry lands, okay? That flag we got from King William, he gave it on dry land, okay? Not wet land. The, uh, uh, the uh, Union Jack flag is a 1908 flag of the Navy, is a water flag on the water. You see, they're practicing their jurisdictions of maritime and admiralty law on our native Maui dry land. Okay? We've got a 1835 Declaration of Independence constitutional flag of a bank trading commerce contract with King William the Fourth on dry land. Okay? That's it. That's the difference between the two jurisdictions here I'm talking about. That's what I'm explaining that flag with a black seal around the red uh, the red cross of King George the uh, third, King William's father. You see? This is graphic stuff. That's our flag. That's that's the, the flag this flag here overrides the American flag with the gold strip around the side to make it Admiral martial law. Okay? This one is martial law. Straight admiral. That one in America is vice admiral, navy, water. Okay? This is dry land. Anywhere in the world where we put this flag up. We haven't done it yet. We're just about to do it. Okay? We're just about to enforce this flag of jurisdiction. All right? Very, very, very powerful flag. This is a bank trading flag. Uh, of commerce, merchant banking, jurisdiction, and constitution. Okay. 
And that's all I want to say. I just want to tell you this very good day today. It's very nice weather outside. I'm going to show you in a minute how well this country's skies have got no none of those planes uh, flying around and spraying the skies. You know what's going to happen with our law, eh? The Ameri um, uh, martial law. We're going to shoot them down. Huh? Yeah, we're going to bang them down. Anybody who breaks my eye, uh, Admiralty Court law will actually be shot on sight and hung. That's how Admiralty law works. King William IV will be very shocked to hear that. Uh, he's up there, he's saying, whatever, whatever it takes to put the law of work 52 years to set up, fix it. Okay. So, we have the right to go to the extreme. Right. We're going to decide uh, how to run this country very efficiently. No more of this humbug voting systems and politics. It's and, and, and wasted money on stupid power projects. Okay? We've got a power project to go in. Okay? It'll just take care of the whole thing. One turbine. Okay? No problem. Got that ready to go. So when I uh, speak to uh, Jeff Foley this morning, we'll be talking about uh, his uh, challenge to the monarchy uh, in London. Okay? I'll be going there with him. Uh, as soon as we get John Key sorted out and get the military in there, uh, I'm not joking. I am not joking. I'm talking truth, God's truth. That's why, God, my law. Okay, truth, one side and King Law on the other side. Admiralty. All right, you can't get out of it. You just can't get out of it. They put it in writing. Right, the Vatican, Pope. <coughs> they can't get rid of this king. They can't, they can't break into our contract. That's a contract uh, between us and the king. They can't uh, uh, do anything, even though they write about it, that they have the power over the world. No, they don't have the power of the world. Okay? The people have the power of the world. We just have to go and take the grave to the people. That's all we have to do. Do what the king says. Right? A good king. And take this flag to the people. They will decide around the world. So we're going to... Africa, India, uh, Canada, Australia, uh, all the countries uh, that are uh, uh, run by the Queen side of their jurisdiction and uh, uh, their uh, use of the Navy, abusing the Navy and abusing the military, okay, for their own personal greed. Okay, we're going to remove them from office, okay? Move them from office and put in the people. It's the people's country and their resources. Okay, we're going to correct it. That's what I'm here for. That's why I'm spending a lot of time in front of the whole world, uh, just letting them know what we're doing here in New Zealand. We have, uh, we have the, the, the right tools, the right flag, the right memorial with a Maori statue. You can see where the ropes are around his head that I've just put those documents on. You see, that's theft. And you can tell me the Church of England and the Catholic Church is doing that in front of God with ropes around the Moai's head and ropes around the uh, obelisk, the Sun Ra, uh, Sundal, wrist, uh, um, obelisk from Africa. The soil, that, that obelisk is made from the soil of Africa, not from Rome, Italy. You see, it's not in the right place. It's in the wrong hands. It's in thieves' hands. And the Moai statues in London, that's the one on my icon on Facebook. That's the one on our, our uh, seal of God's face. That's God's face. And that's our story. That's not the European historian's story. That's our own story from my mouth of my native Tahitian uh, people, spirit people. Okay? I'm writing the stories this time, okay? Put it right. Put, the, put, the, put our story right. Put it in front of you, in front of the world, and uh, people watching. 
that uh, we 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 are we are telling the truth. It's for you to tell us that we are not telling the truth, Mr. Don Key and Mr. Jerry Mataparai Andrews, the Governor General of New Zealand. Okay, and then Satna, you, the Indian, we're after you too. Sylvia Cartwright, we're after you too. Sean Lies, uh, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, after you too. You're on trial. You're going in the box today, okay, in the dog box, the dock box of the Maui Crown Supreme Superior Admiralty Court. Okay, got a court martial order on your head, <coughs> right? And put you on a boat, uh, got a, a container ship. I put a picture of the container ship, the biggest one in the world, parked down here by the wall. You're going in it, off to Guantanamo Bay. Right? I'm gonna take all those prisoners out of there, send them home, and put you in there. Right? We're going to stay in there. It's just where you deserve to be. And we're going to take those prisoners and stick them back on the land. Right? Give them a job. Right? Use all that money up that you've got stolen from the resources. Their resources. And you, Obama, you're going inside because you're locking people up and shooting people on site using this. You're abusing the Admiralty Law. Mr. Obama, and all your 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 politicians, your Illuminati, uh, and your Bilderbergs, uh, all those evil people in the Catholic Church and the churches practicing inside the Parliament, in the Council, right? the District Councils, the Supreme Courts, right? all the Supreme Courts, the Supreme Court here from Australia. You're in trouble. You. Uh, Tony Abbott, Julia Gillard, Kevin Rudd, right? Hawke, all you people are in legal trouble with me and our criminal barrister, Charles Hirschfeld, and our QC, Notary Public, Queen's Bench lawyer, you, Tayek Choi, right? in Auckland here. He's ready. He's ready. To send his crew in to seize everything, completely seize everything, and transfer it back to the people. Okay? To the people. If they want to come with us. Okay? If they want to come with us, that's up to them. But at the moment, they're all debtors. We only got a few creditors on our side. You can come, members, and um, buy uh, shares in the my title turbine project is sitting there. Nobody to drive it yet. I've been doing that by myself. You can see how the Chamber of Commerce, this is the International Chambers of Commerce and LinkedIn. These are business people. That's where I put my profile to find investors from companies. And that's where the people rip me off. I put all those documents on Facebook. They're supposed to be doing this job I'm doing in London. The lawyer and the banker. Okay. Now I learned a lot about banking and lawyers, far more than what I would have imagined. I was relying on them. Never trust anybody overseas. You don't trust your own self. Bring them here. Okay. That's what we're going to do. When we do the government here, we get a Chinese, a Indian, a Polish, uh, uh, Indian, uh, American, Chamo, one from each country in this country. Okay? So that way we can trade straight out with the flag. We're going to stand in their country with the flag, and we're there straight away with our <coughs> independence. Right? We've got independence. You know, John Key got no independence. You know? He has to start all over again as if there was nobody around. Right? When he came here, was somebody here. Right? He can't make a new sovereignty. He borrowed the sovereignty government in exile. That's the Queen. Right? The end of her day, we sacked her. We legally sacked her. So, John Key, you got a problem. You've got no sovereignty, no constitution, no jurisdiction. There. That's what I'm saying here today on this video. Right? I'm saying very graphically to the police, uh, Commissioner Peter Wall, um, Marshall, and the Defence Force, uh, Reese Jones, you, uh, uh, Commander of the Defence Force, that you need to talk to me here. On the land from now on, today, in this video, that's why it's long. Uh, uh, 
let's get down to business of running the country. Okay? I want you, we chose, to arrest John Key in your video. I want you to arrest him in the Navy. All right? Navy, Jack Steele, you, you're in the Defense Force on behalf of the Navy and King William. You're here under King William IV, Admiralty. Okay? King of the Sea. I'm telling you, as the king's partner, right? Contract, merchant, bank, trading, commercial, contract partner, business. Okay? That's me. Alright? So, those documents, please take them seriously and heed to what they say. Because it's law now. You now, the John Key has shut his mouth and stayed silent and said nothing. Okay? He's no more. He's legally no more. And his parliament is no more. Alright? No more. So that's what I've just put a few points here. I think I've covered them all. Uh, they are threat. John Key and the drilling and his federal state with Australia, Commonwealth of Australia Corporation is in Washington, D.C with the bonds of the people in Australia. They don't know, you see. They've been sold on the market. Okay? That's offensive. That, that's, that's illegal, and it is a criminal uh, corruption of fraud that we're complaining to the High Court of Admiralty in London, okay? to Judge Mackey. And so they have used our Te Whenua 1993 Native Land Act and consolidated that inside their fraud titles and their fraud jurisdiction of the paddle that has no name, right? A paddle with no name, right? That jurisdiction is out the window here in, in New Zealand. Mr. John Key, we've got a, a seal. We've got a King uh, William the Fourth seal. That's him on his horse, Plymouth, Devon, to Devonport here in Auckland. See, and to New Plymouth, right? Plymouth, that's his... Uh, estate. That's his estate family tutor. Uh, Westminster Parliament. Westminster Parliament is his tutor property. Okay? That's us, Mr. John Key. That's our house. That's my house of my people. My indigenous, native, African, Nubian, Ghana, black man, people, and my native, Tahitian. Black man, people, Mr. John Key, Mr. Jew, hmm? you're in trouble. You're in serious trouble going around to Sri Lanka and telling everybody you own the damn place. No, you don't. You go to the UN, tell them you own the place. You know what they say? It doesn't say New Zealanders on this UN council. It says Confederation, a chief. Hey? You're not a chief. Neither is Jerry Matapurai Andrews, Commander-in-Chief. Now, that's a token, that not a real admiral. He didn't drive the boat, right? He didn't spend 52 years, like King William IV, and set it all up, Mr. Dajan Key. And Prince Philip is no Commander-in-Chief, and Obama is no Commander-in-Chief. That's just fictitious. Uh, Bullshit. Eh? You see? You fellas make it up. Just like you made the Maori iwi up here in New Zealand. The same as the Arabs. They made it all up. All those people who stole the land, we're after you. Eh? You're going to have to prove your titles on those lands. We just go there, get a DNA, and we'll know the truth. Right? I go to Africa, take a DNA of me, you'll find it's right on. Exact. Go to Tahiti, no? DNA, it'll be matched. Right? Your people, John Key, you take a DNA, England, Rome, France, Scotland, right? All the white ones, over there, right? Now that's what I'm saying, graphically, that uh, uh, we, are, we are in change. We are, we are in change uh, at the moment, transition of powers, okay? Transition of powers. And so the Vatican... Uh, it can't get rid of the king. It can't get rid of the king because of the contract. Okay? Even though they say that
they've got rid of the kings and queens. No, they're still practicing under the king. The Vatican is still playing around with admiralty law when they shouldn't be. They're in the UN as a silent, silent operator, right? And they're not very happy with the Vatican being in the UN because they are no performance. They're just there for their documents, you see? So we're going there to the UN to knock them out because we're going there with a flag. They are usurping our flag. Where do they get their oath of office from to operate a business? That's what I want to find out. Okay? Or the church, a church running a commercial operating business as the richest people in the world. Now, you tell me a church was meant to look after people, God's people, and, and um, preach what they sang uh, to people, that they are God's people when their, their oath clearly says they're there to kill people, poison them, and cut their guts out. Huh? That's the oath from the Jesuit popes, right? Now, you make your mind up. You want to stay with them? That's where you are with the canon's law and the courier law. Right? Or you're going to go to God's law, out in the open, pray straight up, no, no churches, just out in the open, anywhere, and gather in the open. That's how Tahitian uh, Maui, uh, Marae is just a set of stones on the ground, and you stand on there and pray, right in the open, in front of everybody. Right? You sing all your, all your heart out, and dance around in the, under the sun, under the stars. Okay? Not locked up. Our, our Moais are locked up in, the, in London, right? inside a building. You should be outside under the stars, right? with, with people, not with the Queen and, uh, and uh, her elite people. Right? So that's, 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 uh, that's wrong. So, okay, so uh, Nicholas uh, Hammond, he's the Secretary of State in uh, um, Britain. Uh, he's, he's being sent these uh, documents as well. So he's there for the defence. He's the Secretary of State of Defence, uh, Commander of Defence. And uh, also George uh, Zambalos, he's the, Sir George Zambalos is the Rear Admiral, <coughs> uh, Commander-in-Chief of the Navy. Okay, and then we've got uh, uh, we've got the other guy uh, the, and the um, what's his name? I just can't think of him at the moment. But anyway, it'll come to me. Uh, so we've got him uh, as the um, uh, commander of the uh, defence force. All right, uh, we've got him. I just can't think of his name at the moment. Anyway, uh, you'll see him there dressed up uh, in army army uh, uniform. Uh, so uh, so those people. Are running us here. Okay, we are answerable to them uh, and their superpowers. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So that's what I wanted to say today. Um, Horton, Horton, yeah, Horton. That's his name, Horton. Um, uh, Commander Horton. Uh, I'm trying to think of his first name. Uh, so, so him. Uh, I'm. Uh, writing to uh, today uh, as the commander here to Rhys Jones here is the commander of the Defence Force right Horton to Rhys Jones uh, to take over this country and all countries in the world okay being screwed by the Crown Crown Corporation and um, Evelyn Rothschild Banks Rothschild Banks Rockefellers and the uh, Illuminati's, the Illum Illuminati's uh, uh, leaders with the Articles of Association of the Corporation is Elizabeth Windsor and Adolfo Nicholas Patron, the Black Pope. Okay, those two, those two are the biggest uh, Satan devils in this whole world that are causing all the problems. They use the bank. Evelyn Rothschild, same families, all in the, the royal families, right? We've got our own Tahitian royal families and the African royal families uh, that are uh, uh, together uh, with Moa. Okay, and so um, uh, we want to we want to express to you our uh, sincere um, um, thoughts to completing what we're saying with these lean uh, warrants, the uh, search and seizure warrants that we are wanting the police to enforce on John Key.
Doug we can't build over this property land in Auckland. We're not going to seize it straight away, says we. Okay? We go stay around, but I still have to get an answer back in a hard copy from uh, from uh, Jack Steele, the um, Navy Commander in Chief. Okay? Uh, so it'll it'll depend on him to come in if the police uh, do not um, uh, assist us to arrest any fraudsters. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm going along with the private investigator, Graham Elliott, and I'm, I'm myself as a private prosecutor with our court, our, uh, our my native council, and um, our sheriffs. They'll have a badge with the King William the Fourth uh, seal, sovereign seal, British sovereign crown seal. Okay, that's for him on the horse and his ship fleet in the background in his na na navy uh, navy dock uh, village. You can see William Yard in Plymouth. Devon, okay, port, the port of Devon, right? to Devon port, the port of Devon here in Auckland, right, we're going to seize that property and seize everything in Devon port around the King of England, okay, and then we'll sort out um, where to from here and uh, take over the place, right? that's our intentions, I tell you, um, straight your face, that anybody who wants to or tries to refute any of what I'm saying, you put it in writing. Okay? Put it in writing, put it on Facebook. On my Facebook, stick it in writing. If you refute any of the documents of what there's there are over three thousand probably three thousand five hundred now of those documents. You've got to refute all of them. Not just one or two. All of them because the other ones will come and block you out. Right? Court's got that now. And so we're going to um, enforce them. Enforce them right over the whole world, right over the whole world, right over the Vatican, okay, right over the Vatican, law, the canon law, out, guns, out, right, that's what's causing the problem, killing people in the world, trying to take it over, trying to um, invade the whole world with the Americans, you know what's going to happen, their flag's going off the land, the British come along with this flag, this confederation flag, that one, and take over. Because he, they're going to cancel all your admiralty law. Okay? They're going to cancel all your admiralty law. That's what I'm telling them to do. Okay? They're waiting for instructions. That's what you can hear the video of uh, of the uh, secretary uh, Shannon uh, yesterday uh, saying, put in writing what I want Jack Steer to do. You see, I'm going to instruct him what to do here. I'm going to instruct them from the King's orders. Yeah? I'm going to express the King's order. Okay? The King's order. The King of England. The British are watching. We're on stage here. We're on stage. In front of the world. We're on stage. It's just like acting in real. Okay? So that's uh, that's uh, that's uh, really what I wanted to say. I'm just looking to see anything else I've missed in this long video. Right? And the pound note. Okay, that's the last one. The pound note you'll see in the watermark is Maui with the head on his head. That's the crown. That's the real crown, not the Queen's crown. That that's that you know, you can see what's happened, why she used that crown on her head was to commercially take land, steal it, and make you subjected to her sovereignty, which is in question here now. It's fraud, it's corrupted, out it goes. We go to the king and the king can sit on his horse until Jeff Foley goes and takes over the monarchy and claims it because we're right behind him. Okay? He's going back in there. And so the crown is the earth crown on the Moa's head. You've got Giesman next to him. He's a one or of course, obvious. But he's there because he's going back down to Dunedin in New Zealand. That's where the park is, the white man. Actually went there and stole the Moa because they knew King Queen Victoria took the Moai off East Island took it to London, 1868. You see when everything happened? 1868 onwards, they started to commercialise the world with that crown. Okay? That's how the crown 
eventually. You ask, you ask the Queen where she got the idea of a crown from. Ask the Rothschilds where did they get the idea? Where did the idea of the crown come from? Okay? And tell them don't talk about my statue crown on his head because that's ours. That's our indigenous native Taishan crown. You know, that's a god put that there. God said do that. Right? He said do that. Not you white people, mischievous people. Right? We 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 we're expressing uh, that crown on the pound note as the currency. We're going to go back to Britain and tell them print more pound notes. Okay. With that on the world head, world head, and with King William there, right? King William and uh, his horse there until uh, King uh, Foley is put in place. And then he'll go there. Okay? I'm just saying to uh, Jeff Foley, uh, my, my friend, uh, we're on our way to London. Okay? We're on our way to England as soon as we get this land title sorted and the administration in place and the politicians locked up, all of them, no marriage, they're all in the same boat. Everyone in the billion people out of seven billion people who are running the crown racket. That's what Jordan Maxwell said. They are playing a game of tennis with a racket. Right? That's what it is. They put the ball from this court to the other court. And so what we do? We're putting the ball into the other court. Right? We're going to whack them right off the tennis court. That's what Jordan Maxwell said. It's a river with a bank on both sides. And that's what we're doing. We're doing exactly how he says, because he's one of the elite people that are telling you, just like the Black Pope, telling you we're allowed to kill you people, poison you, cut your guts out. Now this guy's saying the same thing. He's one of them elite people too. So we're taking his, his ideas and sticking them to practice back in their face. Right? So they can't face it because we have the legal title to all the indigenous lands they are occupied. Okay? They only have occupied conveyancing titles from the water. And they are water people. That's what Admiralty Law is. Mr. John Clear. Okay? So I think that's long enough. I think that's that's our currency is is the power note. Water hydrogen jet fuel is our economy to make the money to match the power note. So we'll have water money as a currency, Moai currency. But the Moai currency itself is water money. Okay? We claim the water in the power in the water as solid energy, hydrogen and oxygen jet fuel. That's our product. We're going straight into that project off the East Cape in Devon, in uh, England. We're going to, to go there, straight there, and put it up, just like how you see it on our Facebook. You'll see the plans there in Auckland of the new airport, the uh, hydrogen British Lapcat A2 aircraft. We're going straight into the uh, 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 yeah, uh, uh, European uh, commission, European Union Commission, because I used to do that, and I'm doing all these things by myself, because I don't trust anybody to do it, so it's better to do it myself if it falls apart, it's my fault. It's not anybody else's fault, and the same goes with the uh, King uh, documents, they're there, and um, I just pull in people around the world to come into that business to run it. That's what I said to Gray Mailer, you'll have to join and run it and administer it. Right? Not me, the people who I trust, the companies who are going to build that um, tidal energy bridge in the middle of the sea, 2,000 people that will employ on there to work and to regenerate the uh, fish in the sea, not going just rake the thing like how they're doing now without any regeneration and, and putting things back. They just keep taking it and killing all the fish. So you can see all the poison in the water now, killing all the fish. You see, those are white people, the Surinams. We're going to round them all up. We're going to start rounding them up from here. Then you follow what we do around the world. Because you're entitled to all that money. That figure I just gave you, split in amongst six billion people. But you must join my wife um, uh, and the king. 
okay join my mind and you'll be safe and that's all I want to say it's uh, Wednesday today the 20th of November 2013 it's been nice to talk to you I just wanted to show you the the, uh, uh, the skies uh, in Auckland and they're very very good good day here I just want to uh, share that with you in the world I'm going to Hollywood uh, Bollywood sorry I'm going to see Sonia Gill because she's still waiting for me to go and play this this film So You're Married you see I'm going to be the dad and I'm going to be very bad I'm going to be real bad at the mean ass and uh, show you I think I'll do I'll put my guitar up and sing a song in the bush and lullaby uh, to my sweetheart okay so uh, it's been a long time uh, since 2008 uh, that I've been on Facebook to know everybody that comes and goes who's true who's not okay so we've had people uh, commenting on me and pulling me to bits that's fine uh, you'll see me swearing around so you know I'm practicing how to be a bad mean guy uh, on TV uh, so you know I'll fit the, fit the script uh, and change and change uh, quite quickly just like they're changing the government here quite quickly change into something I really want to do go out dive under the sea swim with the fish that's what I used to do I like doing that and um, um, share uh, nice times with people that should be you know, bring everybody together and go from one place to the other and teach them I want to go in to see all the unfortunate people you'll see my website is parked up Okay, my powerhouse is parked up because there's nobody running it because I did it myself and we'll pick it up and carry on uh, as soon as we get uh, financial you can see I got ripped off a few million pounds and uh, we're for, for, for put the uh, private investigator on that as part of his contract everything we do is going to be contract under the same commercial law straight to Britain British landlord okay? that's what we practice British landlord the landlords of England is Moai law and our own Tikanga Moa law is the spiritual side okay that's the astronomical side we're getting into the spaceships and all that technology I've got that we're going to start building the spaceship you watch it fly straight up okay that's 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 how we that's how we operate we're gonna we're gonna start from one thing to the other for the benefit of the people okay I'm not here for me and just a few bunch of people I'm here for the whole sovereign people of the world to get their power back in the hands of the people and God. Okay? Thank you very much. And uh, we'll just show you the world outside in New Zealand. And that's the sky there. I just want to see, see the nice blue sky. And that's the restaurant below me there. Okay? We're just looking from my office and people going to work because it is now 7.42 a.m. in New Zealand, Auckland and um, we're going to uh, we're going to carry on today and, and um, get in touch with these people and give them um, our uh, letters today that you are the first people to see it on Facebook because you are our witnesses and you are our audience we're having an audience with you right? we're trying to get an audience with the policeman he's being deceptive he doesn't want to talk and maybe it's the truth that he's frightened of okay so that's what I'm saying we're 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 going to um, leave it there we're going to um, carry on and um, that's that should be yeah. Yeah. anyway uh, we're going to carry on uh, putting things together so thank you very much and we'll catch you later. Have a nice day and be nice to each other and uh, join my life. You'll find it pretty good, pretty fair and pretty honest.